thecasesolutions.com. Hi guys. Introduction. Start by introducing the case study subject and its relevance. Provide a brief overview of the situation, individual, organization, or problem that the case study focuses on. Explain why this case is worth studying and how it contributes to the broader understanding of a particular topic or issue. Context. Describe the context in which the case study takes place. This includes relevant background information, historical context, industry specifics, and any factors that might influence the situation. Contextualize the case to help your audience understand the environment in which the events unfolded. Research objectives or questions. State the research objectives or questions that guided the study. What were the researchers trying to explore or understand through this case study? This provides a clear sense of purpose for the study. Research methods. Explain the research methods employed in the case study. This could involve qualitative methods such as interviews, observations, and content analysis, or quantitative methods like surveys and data analysis. Discuss how the methods were chosen and why they are appropriate for studying this particular case. Data collection. Describe how data was collected for the case study. Detail the sources of data, whether they are primary, interviews, observations, or secondary, documents, reports, and explain how the data was gathered and documented. Data analysis. Discuss the process of analyzing the collected data. Explain the techniques used to analyze qualitative or quantitative data and how these methods helped derive insights from the information collected. Findings. Present the key findings and outcomes of the case study. Summarize the major discoveries, patterns, trends, or insights that were uncovered through the analysis. Use evidence from the data to support your findings. Discussion. Interpret the findings by discussing their significance and implications. Relate the findings back to the research objectives or questions. Consider how the results align with existing theories, concepts, or previous research. Lessons learned. Reflect on the lessons that can be drawn from the case study. What can others learn from this particular instance? This is particularly relevant if the case study involves challenges, mistakes, or successes that have broader applicability. Limitations. Acknowledge any limitations of the case study. Discuss potential biases, constraints, or shortcomings in the research methods, data collection, or analysis that could affect the validity and generalizability of the findings. Conclusion Sum up the key points of the case study and reiterate its importance. Emphasize how the insights gained contribute to the field's knowledge or practice. Remember to tailor your explanation to your audience's level of familiarity with the topic and the depth of detail required. Remember to tailor your explanation to your audience's level of familiarity with the topic and the depth of detail required. If you want case study solution, please www.thecasesolutions.com. Thanks for watching this video.